<laughs> Vice versa, like you wouldn't see me at a golf tournament or some shit. You wouldn't see me at one either, so don't worry. <laughs> I don't like golf. Okay, like our first time, how did you feel? Everybody, I'm back. I just want to say hi. Um, I'm a guest star today. Uh, I just, um, just want to say hello, everybody. Hope everybody's been doing well. And thanks for having me back on the show. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiana Segura. If you guys are new, please hit the subscribe button right down below. Follow and click the bell is right next to the subscribe button so you're notified on every single video I upload. Because frankly, I'm your bestie. You're my bestie. And if we're not besties, we're gonna be besties. So. Stay updated on your bestie. Lastly, give me a thumbs up and share this video because it truly helps me out a lot. You're my bestie too. <laughs> Carrie, shut up. I had to get it out there. Okay. Hey, besties. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So today I'm bringing back this person right here. You want to tell them your name? Uh, my name is Gary, and um, I'm back. <laughs> and I'm just happy you're back on the show. And thanks for having me. Thanks for having me back. <laughs> And um, I'm glad to be back. So um, I hope everybody out there is doing well and you're having a great day. <laughs> Today, guys, we're going to be conquering and basically telling you guys the five straight <laughs> ups of conquering. What's conquering? What you <laughs> Rome wasn't conquered in a day, let me tell you that. So. <laughs> So guys, today we're going to be talking to you guys about the five struggles of an age gap relationship. This is not to be confused with the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> so if you guys want to know the five struggles that we have, then please keep on watching. So the first struggle that we're going to be talking about is the main one that gets commented on our videos the most. When we first posted a video together, we got this comment a lot. And I talked to Gary behind the scenes and I asked him if it was okay if we talked about it. And he said, yeah. So the first struggle is being compared to sugar daddy, sugar baby. Have you ever been a sugar daddy, Gary? Answer uh, oh, absolutely not. I mean, I like the candy sugar babies. I mean, I, you can't find it in many stores, but I do like that. I'm not a big fan of the sugar daddy candy bars. It kind of sticks to your teeth. But no, to answer your question, absolutely not. And I've never been a sugar baby, but I guess because in an age gap relationship, people automatically think that like, when you're dating somebody older than you or you're dating somebody younger than you, that's the dynamic that you're being paid to be in that relationship or you're paying somebody to be in a relationship. I mean, people prejudge out there, you know, a lot of times they think they, they, they don't know you, you know, they just, just make an assumption for what they see. And, you know, that can be, that can be difficult at times. I'm sure there's people out there that go through that every day. And I mean, it's annoying because it's like, <clears throat> it's almost like just, what's the saying? Don't judge a book by its cover. That's kind Don't of what it is. Don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> but, um, like I said, it's really annoying sometimes when we get a comment. But at the end of the day, like, we've been through it so much since mm -hmm. he, we've been on YouTube together that it's just kind of just like, it kind of goes in one or not the other where we get that comment. It's kind of just like delete, block, whatever. But that's one of the main struggles that I feel like every age gap relationship gets is being compared to a sugar daddy sugar baby and it's not always the case yep so the next struggle that we want to talk about is growing up in different eras it's sometimes like i feel like for me it's hard for us to relate on certain situations because like he'll mention something to me and i won't know what he's talking about like he'll mention a show like remember the the um Oh, the Brady Bunch. Yeah, the Brady Bunch. I've heard of that show, but I've never watched it. Mm -hmm. And so, like, when he's watching HGTV and it's this show and they're, like, revamping a house to be, like, the Brady B Brunch house, I don't know what he's talking about. It's a really like, good show. If you get a chance, you probably could get it on demand. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying you have to watch it. If you have some free time you want to, you might enjoy it. If you're in that era. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> vice versa, like, if I'm talking about, like, shows, which he actually even knows about them, which is crazy, because, like, I'll talk about shows like Spongebob or, like, Dora, Blue Schools, like, those are the things that, like, I watched when I was growing up, so it's hard to, like, relate when I'm like, oh, this scene from Spongebob or something like that, he can't relate because he yeah. doesn't know what the hell I'm talking about because he's like, eh, baby, I'm sorry, but I don't get it. Yeah, I know, I know the squirrel. I know Gary, obviously, because it's my name. <laughs> um, I know where they live. Um, I know that, you know, there's, there, I know the dynamics of the show. Yeah. So I think I can relate. Oh, so you can relate. Can. Oh, okay. I'm pretty current. I can relate to anything. Yeah, but so, like, that's what I'm saying, like, and as far as, like, just different, it's a different dynamic, like, certain stuff that, like, mm -hmm. like I said, he ref like, references to. I sometimes don't understand it because, like, he's refer referencing stuff that was out way before I was born and then off the air. Yep. When I was out the womb. So it's like, it's hard for us to connect in that part, but like we connect in a lot of different other areas, you know? So. Connecting. 
<laughs> yeah. You gotta stay current. You have to be current, I think, you know, at all times, you know. Mm -hmm. Go with the, go with the flow, go with the times, you know. Don't stay in one era and just become that. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about Gary is like even though like we grew up in different eras, he's very good with adapting to situations. So like if he doesn't know what I'm talking about, or if I'm listening to like a song or something like that, even if Gary doesn't want to listen to it, he'll listen to it and then he'll, sometimes he'll actually like it. Sometimes he doesn't like it, but sometimes he does. Mm -hmm. And he'll listen to it and try to like adapt to it. He'll listen to like my music, watch my TV shows, like, you know, the Kardashians and Basketball Wives and stuff like that. So like he adapts fairly quickly, but it's just like, like I said, there's a lot of different things that like, it's different, you they're know? Fun, they're fun. Yeah, but I feel like that makes our relationship somewhat more unique because like, we don't connect on every single thing, but the things that we do connect and bring us closer. Our friend groups are split. Mm -hmm. And I saw this in another video where a couple was talking about like their friend groups being um, split. And that's the same thing for how ours is kind of, because like we don't have a lot of friends that are in like age gap relationships other than like Nikki and Chris, but they live like, <laughs> like in a whole other miles city. Away. <laughs> They live in another city, but like as far as them like outside of them like we don't have friends who are like in an age gap relationship And if like I don't have friends anyway, but <laughs> if I was to like hang out with like certain people You wouldn't see Gary in a club getting lit dancing to Drake or Kodak you might, Black you, you might though if you do just say hi Please, yeah. <laughs> so you enjoy me if you want. You know? What do you mean enjoy you? <laughs> enjoy me. Oh, I thought you said enjoy you. I wasn't, boy, don't play with me. Mm -hmm. Vice versa. Like, you wouldn't see me at a golf tournament or some shit. You wouldn't see me at one either, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like golf. <laughs> that makes two of us, so don't worry. You won't see me there. <laughs> see me at a hockey game or a oh. baseball game or a football game. But see, I game. like hockey though. Like I like, I started liking hockey because of Gary. And um, I don't like football unless it's Super Bowl yeah. season or some shit like that. Or like, no, no, you know what the hell I mean, yeah, Gary. Plans. But yeah, but like I said, like, so me and Gary friend groups are like kind of split because his friends are more older than mine and my friends are more younger than his. You know what I mean? So it's kind of hard. Whereas it was like, we couldn't, I'm not saying that we can't, but it just, I don't know how it would go if we were to mesh our friends together because my friends are probably more turnt and Gary's friends are probably sipping coffee. Well, I'm gonna say coffee. <laughs> what are they <laughs> sipping? Maybe something from Starbucks, I don't know. You know, but not just coffee. And then number four, we're gonna talk about kids. Mm -hmm. A lot of people throw that on us a lot because Gary's much older than me and I'm much younger than Gary. People like to throw it at us saying like, you need to have kids tomorrow and it's like, I feel like our relationship is like any other relationship as far as though like, yes, there's a time clock, which that's the only part that's different, but as far as like any other relationship, like we're taking our time. Like we're not, I'm just, I don't know. Like, I, like I'm 24 years old. Like I'm not trying to have kids next week. And even though you are a little older, I feel like he's okay with like, you know, waiting and stuff like that or whatever. And if it just so happens that like, you know, the, the clock runs out, there are other options mm -hmm. to have kids, you know what I mean? But it's just like... You shouldn't be rushed into anything. Yeah, I feel know. like people... Don't, don't, don't give in to peer pressure in this mm -hmm. life. You know what it is? You have to look at yourself and say, you know, what's for you? Mm -hmm. That's that's part that's part of the problem where you make bad decisions. Mm -hmm. So I feel like people That's my tip for the day. If you want some more of those, I can... I can provide them. <laughs> That's my one tip for the day, okay? No, but I feel like people always try to like dig into people live. And um, a YouTuber was talking about that on her live stream. Her name was Raven. And she was basically saying about like how people. That's um, so Raven? No, no oh, Raven okay, and Lisa, the girl I always oh, talk about. Sorry, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but she's basically saying like how people basically like comment stuff like, oh, when you're having kids and when you're. Or your, your acne's getting bad, or this and that, and it's almost just like you don't know this person can have um what's the word like fraternity issues? Is that how you say it? Mater Fr fraternity. Ma no, maternity issues. What, That's college issues. <laughs> Fertility issues. <laughs> yeah, fertility issues. That's what it is. Fertility issues. <laughs> I've had fertility issues back in college. I never really joined a fraternity, but that's a different story. But I'll let you take it away. Yeah, fertility uh -huh. issues. People can have, be having fertility issues, and then as far as like acne, like people can like you know be going through stuff with their acne. So it's not always good to comment in somebody's comment section saying when are you having kids? When are you having kids? And I felt like because we're in an age gap relationship, we get that ten times more because they're like. 
when are you having kids? The clock is ticking, but it's like I said, like, God is leading us in the way that we need to go, and whether I'm gonna have a kid naturally, or I'm having a kid by a surrogate, or I'm gonna adopt a kid, give it somebody that doesn't have a home, a home, so it's like, you just don't know the way that it's gonna happen, and it's just like, you shouldn't rush somebody into it. So, like I said, that's one or another struggle with being in an age gap relationship, we get pressured to have kids 10 times more than the normal relationship. Why don't you turn the question back on them, like, when are you having kids? <laughs> Shut you know, and it puts them on the spot a little bit. Like, hold on, let me think about that. Hold on, let me let me check my day planner. Yeah, and it's like they almost think like you already have a marked in the yeah. calendar. Like this day I'm gonna get pregnant, and this day I'm gonna have kids, and this is gonna be done. Like, no, everything happens when it's supposed to happen. Okay, and so we're gonna get into our number five struggle of being in an age gap relationship: the stairs. Yes, yes, I know something. The stairs. Yeah. Gary notices it way more than me. I noticed it at the beginning of our relationship, but. As far as like, okay, like our first time, like our first time that we actually went out together. Mm -hmm. What did you, like how did you feel? Uh, how did I feel? I mean, I didn't really think anything of it, you know, because I'm just focusing on, you know, just the time, you know, you, the time mm -hmm. and all that. And, you know, I wasn't really looking at other people, you know, and I really don't normally. I just, mm -hmm. I guess I'm just used to just focusing on, you know, my situation at hand, regardless. Mm -hmm. I feel like for us, like, we didn't really, for me personally, I'm just the type of person, I've always learned that, like, you can't think people are looking at you for the obvious reason. Because sometimes people can be looking at you thinking, Gary's shirt is nice, Gary's jeans are nice. Like, don't downplay yourself. Oh, thank you. No, sure. but I'm saying, like, people can be looking at you for that mm -hmm. reason alone. And because you know, and because we are so critiqued on being in an age guy relationship because it's not the norm in society we have many think people are staring at us because that but it could be something opposite of that and then on top of that you never know that like when gary's outside by himself people could be staring at you just as much as you're not noticing it because you're not with me well it could also be my ball spot reflecting the sun in their eye i don't know but you know i'm just you, you don't know but you know i i, I I sometimes pick up on things. <laughs> for me personally, I don't notice as much anymore. Like say for instance, when we were in Walmart the other day, you said the guys kept on staring at me, but I didn't notice mm -hmm. it. Like Gary noticed stuff and I, cause me personally, like I'm like tunnel vision when I go outside or whatever. I don't really pay attention to what's going on, which is kind of bad. Well, I was admiring the monster cereals. Cause you know, during this time of the year with Halloween, they bring back, you know, Booberry and you know, Frankenberry and Count Chocula. So I was like, wow, they're out. You know, then I'm just, <laughs> that's where I kind of picked that up a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, but he kept on saying like the men were staring, but it's like at the end of the day, like even when we went out, we we told ourselves that we were never gonna go out to dinner on Sundays because like <laughs> we were in a restaurant and all the old people were staring at us. Like it was so bad. Like they would like literally like stand at us like I think they like my dinner. I was like, if you want to come over and share, it's fun. There's plenty for all, plenty for all. Yeah. You never should stare. My thing is like Gary and my mom both do the same exact thing, so I don't understand why he has a problem with people staring because I'll tell Gary like look Gary or like look at something like messed up and Gary will literally stare at it and that's the same thing that my mom does. Like Gary won't look and be like and turn away. Gary looks and like that's what you're talking about right there. I'm like my, just tell him that we're talking about it. It takes me a little time to process. You know, so. But yeah, like that's like a big thing, like I said, with like um in an age gap relationship, we do get a lot of stares. And then on top of that, like we're not only an age gap relationship, but we're also interracial. Like, you know, I'm black, obviously. Gary's white, obviously. So like people stare at that too, and it's sad to say, like, I'm racism. I didn't realize. You didn't know that you know you're white. Now I now I know. <laughs> but it's sad to say that racism still exists. Um that's just what it is. Do we let it bother us? Honestly, no, but it's just like this is like no. difficult stuff that we deal with because we're in a relationship that's not the norm. You can't let things bother you, you know? You have to be, just do what makes you happy. Yeah, and that's, a, it's, it's, it's hard. I don't always, you know, bother no, in, in other people's business, so, you know. And frankly, with us, like, we don't care. We don't care about anybody else's business. Like, we don't care about anybody else's relationship, whether they're in a normal relationship based off of what society thinks. We don't care. Like, so, guys. <clears throat> That was some struggles that like we have on the norm on like the daily. Here's Tux. He he likes Gary more than me. This is our kitty. His name is Tuxedo. His name is Tuxedo. You want to show me a Tuxedo Mark? You wanna go back on Gary? Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys wanna hear more like you know struggles of an everyday life of um 
age gap relationship. Mm -hmm. If you want to hear some more advice for having an age gap relationship, just subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and let us know that you like these videos, and we will do more. Also, drop some ideas down below for me and Gary to do. We want to film more videos together. We just don't have any ideas, and we want to be more mm -hmm. original, so give us some more original ideas and stuff like that that we can film together. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. We love you, besties. Thank you. <laughs> Talk to you. Bye. Yeah, so see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys. Thanks for having me. Bye.